You're right everyone, so today I thought I'd do something just a little bit different because most of my videos just tend to be stupid and daft and ridiculous and I just wanted to offer some actual realistic advice because I've been playing so much Warzone lately and I just want all you lot to succeed like I've been doing. From my own personal experiences of playing the game, I've managed to put a few steps together which will help you get win after win after win. So enjoy the video and I look forward to seeing you in game. Okay, so step one, a great feature that this game has is that in the pre-game lobby you can actually hone your skills against other players so you can drop in and just start warming up straight off the bat oh fuck all right that was just a little warm-up session don't worry about that so as i was saying this gives you a chance to oh my god all right third time lucky guys now i'll demonstrate to you oh my fucking god in fact just scratch that this bit's a bit pointless anyway i'll show you how to hone your skills in game from now on so moving on to step number two at this point in the game nobody has any sort of advantage over anybody else we're all just sitting in the same airbus with our seat fully reclined watching b movie what we have to do as players is gain the advantage by dropping to a secluded area where other players aren't likely to be. You see, by dropping in like this, tactically and methodically, you can actually begin to gather loot at your own pace and get ready for the game ahead. Oh my god, are you fucking joking? What's he doing here? Step number three. So you found yourself in the gulag. Again, not the time to panic. This is a crucial moment because you have to win to get back in the game. Literally, all you have to do to secure victory is be a bit reserved, be a bit cautious, but stay focused and stay calm. Oh my fucking god, that was bullshit! Step number four. So you might have just lost in the gulag but now is definitely not the time to despair you have to make sure you stay calm even if it was fucking bollocks and i shot him like 100 times in face and he ate his family see the more angry you get the more your gameplay will suffer as a consequence you need to buckle up find a way of unwinding whether it be meditation going for a walk just find something therapeutic to fill your time up with Step number five, as soon as you've finished relaxing and unwinding, it's time to redeploy again. We're still dropping far away from all signs of activity, but we have one mission, we have one sole responsibility at this point to win. We need to A, find a deserted building, B, enter the deserted building, and C, close the door, because it's nice to have some fucking manners. Ignore every single gun that you see. They are all literally useless in comparison with what we are looking for. And there it is, the object we were looking for, an RPG. Hooray! From that point onwards, you can just slowly make your way around the map, moving from corner to corner, aiming at the same spot for minutes on end to try to find an unsuspecting video gamer to pass you by. Do you feel that? That's called guilt. It's realising you're a worthless piece of shit. Every single time you look in the mirror again for the rest of your life, you will reflect back on that moment and feel fucking ashamed of yourself. But it's alright because we're still in the game. Alright, no. I mean, I'm trying my best with these steps, but that was clearly a hacker. There's no way that he could possibly have shot me at that point. Step number five. Never ever grow complacent and underestimate the other people you are playing against because it is a well-known fact that Call of Duty players are globally renowned for being highly intelligent. Step number six, attempt to repeat strategy four again. Find yourself an RPG and get yourself holed up somewhere. If it doesn't work the first time, it's guaranteed to work the second time. Are you serious right now? Was that a ghost? Is there some kind of paranormal activity in this cafe? Oh, fuck off! Step number eight. I seem to forget about that glitch in solo mode where every other enemy is invincible for some reason except you. So with that information in mind, it's time to head over to squads. The only possible way to truly succeed in squads is a combination of raw game skill, forward planning, and effective communication. Now then, boys, girls, and people of unspecified gender, whereabouts are we dropping today? How about Superstar? How about TV Station? How about damn? Where are we going? Does anyone have a headset? Ah, you already jumped out about 15 minutes ago. Fuck this game. Step number eight. After realising your teammates are absolute dead weight, it's time to find yourself a vehicle. It is absolutely crucial that you head over to your teammates and offer them a lift before you completely abandon them. Their anger will inhibit their game playing abilities, so you can just come back and steal all their loot once they've been killed. Step number nine. Be sure to use your brain power. By using the vehicle you have taken, you can set a trap for unsuspecting enemies who want to make a quick getaway. From there on, it's also smooth sailing. Just find a nice secluded area, grab yourself some popcorn and wait for an enemy squad to take the bait. Look how fucking beautiful that was. I can't even begin to imagine how pissed off that enemy squad is in the gulag. Step number 10. Observe this gameplay. 
take notes. This game is undoubtedly going to be a success. Alright, so the game's starting. I'm dropping straight in. I want to be hitting the ground before anyone else. I'm going to be looting it up. I'm going to be checking all of those corners because you cannot trust any of the scum in these lobbies. I'm looted up. I'm fired up. And I'm ready for action. As you can see, a foolish enemy is trying to engage me. But he did not realise I've completed Sniper Elite 4. Straight back to the gulag for you, pal. Another enemy has attempted to engage me. Despite having witnessed my supreme sniping abilities, he attempts to glide on in, thinking he has some easy pick. Kittens. Wrong! Don't go dropping the soap in there my friend. At this point all hope seems to be lost. I'm being engaged from multiple angles, multiple enemies. There just don't seem to be a way out and I just can't think of any way that I'll possibly make it any further. Wrong! Because this is when I deployed a possum tactic and pretend to be dead while those unsuspecting fools have no idea I'm hiding in a bush. Oh do you remember that? Do you remember a few minutes ago when you were shooting at me? Yeah you fucking idiot that's for even daring trying to take me down. Oh do you look at that? Someone else wants to have a little pop at me. Alright fair enough. This guy seems to know what he's doing. Idiot! Just trade the game in. What am I even doing to these people? Just leave the game now. Next up, I'm going to make my way up this hill so I can gather some loot and haul up in this building. Oh, mate. Are you serious right now? That would just uncall for. I really don't appreciate that. But it doesn't matter because I've been thrown into war prison and the fool opposing me doesn't realise I'm actually Michael Schofield. Left, right, good night. I'm back in the game. Now I'll strategically land on this loadout drop and get the guns I require in order to make sure I can secure victory. Oh, there's no way I'm being shot at. I've literally only just landed. I've only just got my stuff. We're having such a good game then as well. Right, well, I'm sorry, thanks for watching the video and all that, but I mean, I just can't really do anything at this situation. Wrong! Test my fucking patience again. Quick scope straight back to the dashboard. Now I've dealt with him, I'm going to head up this hill to secure the high ground. This plan cannot possibly fail. Whoa, 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 is that a person over there? Alright, seriously, fuck this video. Fuck all of the steps. Winning is absolutely impossible. Get over it. Step 11, the most important step of all of them. Just get someone else who's better at the game than you to win while you do nothing. I hope you all enjoyed these tips.